Poriana here with a card tutorial for Create and Inspire. I wanted to show you how you can use those stamp sets with lots of images that are so many or so big that won't really fit on a standard card front without any masking or using lots of layers. This is an acetate front card and it folds flat but it gives you the possibility to build dimensional scene. I stamped all of the images on this Mama Elephant stamp set on Copic Friendly cardstock and I'll be using warm and cool greys as well as few browns. I left just a bit of the coloring in for those of you who enjoy watching it, but you can go ahead and skip to the assembly part. Actually, I won't show you the entire coloring, but just few of the color combinations of few of the kitties and how I added a bit more texture to them. I mainly used two colors. For this kitty, I went with C3 and C1, trying to make it look like white. I used a colorless blender to fade that C1 to white. For the second kitty, I used W3 and W1 and again using that colorless blender but also made some dots. I think it's called stippling to make it more furry looking and I did the same to the first one too. For the third kitty, I added W5 to the W3 and W1 and again used the colorless blender. I used also R20 for the noses and inside of the ears and on the cheeks. Next kitty is going to be darker. I used C5, C3 and C1 and then C7 for the stripes and I added few more. Then again adding texture with the colorless blender. Not sure if you can see it well. Next kitty is going to be brown. I started with E33 and then I'll come in with E21. My E31 marker was dry so I couldn't use it. Here I added W1 marker as my lightest and it just didn't match. So I went over it with E21 and added more shadows with the E33 as well as on the stripes. I continued coloring off camera using the same markers and varying the amount of dark so that all of the kitties will look different. Also covered all of their hats and ornaments using two color blends. Then I used the coordinating dies. I used glittery jelly roll pen to add sparkle to the bubbles and clear wink of Stella to the stars and the ribbons on those presents. Let's get to the assembly of the card. I'm using a top folding card base. But any size will work as long as it's a top folding. Then I have my acetate piece. It's a very thick acetate and I think even packaging would do the job. I have scored it at top and folded it kind of eyeballing it, but it comes the same size as my card base. Then I have a 4 inch piece of cardstock scored on every inch and I will trim it down later 
to the same size of the width of my card base. But first, I will fold it and crease it so that it forms the letter M or W. And this will make the card stay nicely for display. Then I have ink blended background, which is the same size as my card front, but I will trim the length a little bit later. And I have self made snow banks, just cutting curvy line with my scissors and then a bit of ink around the edges. If you want to have anything stamped inside your card, do it now. I have few mistakes during the assembling, but I thought it's a lot easier to show you what didn't work out as I wanted it to. So I have another card example at the end of the video. I'm going to attach the fold first on the bottom of the card and I have trimmed it off a bit and will trim the overhang parts too. Now I will attach the acetate on the top and then I will glue the background down with liquid adhesive but first I trimmed a tiny piece off at the bottom. And here comes my first mistake. Don't do what I do. I'm adding score tape to that middle fold to add one of the snow banks, thinking that I can add the kitty tree to it and have it like in the center of the card standing up. It won't. And I will show you in a bit why. So I added that piece and now adding the kitties there. I just put some old packaging over the background in case I get glue all over. Then I glued down the presents and the candy cane behind the kitties on the background. Reinforced the acetate fold and I'm ready to tape it down to the fold piece. I stick it down and it won't look like I wanted it. I wanted the tree standing up between the background and the acetate. So I ripped it off, added strip of cardstock to hide the residue from the score tape and now adhering it so that the front flap comes on top. I'm using a dry baby wipe so that I don't get fingerprints all over. Now I add the other snow bank on the front and the card is standing up, but still that tree doesn't go in the center. Imagine the tree in a tent. That's what I wanted to create. I trimmed all the overhanging pieces off, added the other two kitties to the front and the ornaments, then added a bit of shading to ground them. The card is not completely wrong though. See how that inside snow bank is on the way? You don't want to add anything to that fold because it's actually supposed to go down. I tried to force fold a bit of the tree, but it wouldn't really make a difference. I think the card is cute though. And if I give it another try, I would adhere the tree to the background and keep that fold free. Having this in mind, I made another card. It's a landscape one, but it's made the same way as the other, except that middle fold has nothing attached to it. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe get inspired to create some acetate front cards. Have a nice day. Bye.